I'm so happy right now. Oh, yes, yes. Photographing the beaver has been time consuming for me, but exciting. I have put in hours upon hours, but I learned so much of the beaver and the behavior. got some cool picture of it in the water, which I really like, but now it's time to see if I can try to photograph it on shore. Even though the trail camera didn't show the beaver, I was optimistic. I wanted to do a different approach this time, to wade on shore and see if the beaver showed up at a different den. So I'm back here trying to photograph the beaver. I had a really, really great time yesterday photographing it. Uh, but this time here I'm a little bit different uh, position. I'm not in the canoe right now. I'm at shore and I found a place where it looks like it's going to shore to eat. And hopefully, hopefully it will come here before it gets too dark would be so so nice to get the beaver up from the water to see the whole beaver that would be awesome so that is my goal right now so I had a great images of it in the water with backlight and morning mist but now the plan is to spend a couple of days near this area here and see if I can get the beaver uh, up from the water after some long hours of waiting, I had to go home without seeing the beaver. There was a full moon that night, so I took some landscape before I went to bed. I saw the beaver coming out from, from the beaver hut. 
but it disappeared really quickly on the water. <laughs> but now, oops, oh, here it goes again. It's collecting those uh, water flowers. I don't know what it calls in English. eating those leaves. This is so cool. This is my last day here before I go home. After two weeks, I have really worked hard to get this. Oh, yes, yes, finally. I'm so happy right now. Oh, yes, yes.